Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to this brand new video. My name is Phil, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a simple and easy JavaScript track and drop. Really easy and simple to do, only using JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript, no plugins, no libraries, or anything like that. Have fun watching the video right now, and let's go. So, we are here into our index.html. I included the main.js into the footer and the styles.css in the head of the file. So first things first, um, we are here into our browser and yeah, I just styled a little bit of background and font size. So first things first, we're gonna start by creating a container. We give the class of container. It's a parent container for all the single containers. And we're gonna put in five containers here right now with the class of empty. So we're gonna copy this um, to have it five times and let's style this a little bit first so we're gonna say dot empty and we're gonna say height will be 150 pixel and width will be 150 pixel and border will be something like five pixels so gray and we're gonna style the parent container dot container which is gonna say display will be flex and just the file content will be something like space around. All right, let's give it a padding of 20 pixel to top, zero pixel left, 20 pixel bottom, zero pixel right. Now it looks a little bit better. All right. Um, now we need a trackable container. Now you're gonna put the trackable container in the first empty container with the class is equal to, let's say, filled, for example, not chilled, filled. And very, very important, you need to put in the attribute of trackable and set this to true. All right, so let's start the filled container. So we're gonna say filled, and we're gonna put in a background and I prepare the image here and the image logo.png, my logo of the YouTube channel. And we're gonna say height will be 150 pixel as well. Um, width will be 150 pixel. All right, now it looks like this, and we're gonna say background um, minus size uh, will be um, contain. All right, now it looks like this. Um, let's give this little padding here. Uh, let's say 10 pixel. Uh, just say five pixel, it's enough. And we're gonna say display flex as well and just to find content center to bring the image in the middle of the container all right of course you can do nothing here right now you can track it but there's no drop so no enter no leave uh, we're going to declare this now so first things first we need the filled image and we need the empty container so we're going to say let empty empty is equal to document dot query selector all it's very important we need all the empty and let's get it by the class empty. And let's get um, the um, filled one um, by take query selector without all and dot filled. All right, so now we need some add event listener. And first things first, you're gonna say filled dot add event listener. And we're gonna say track start. And we're gonna call the function track start here right now. And what we need to do, we declare the function, function track start. And in the track start, we're just gonna say this dot class list dot add um, hold with the console here. And if we tr start tracking, oh wait, let's get this. Uh, wait, we refresh this. As you can see now, we got div class filled. And if we start tracking this, you see now it has the class of hold as well. Let's style the hold one by dot hold. And let's give it a border of two pixels, solid, uh, red, royal blue, for example. I don't know. All right, we refresh this. And now if you hold it, it got the blue one. But if you stop, tracking it still has the blue one we need to change this so we just need to say set timeout and 
we call a function and we're gonna say this dot class list dot replace and we're gonna replace the hold one with the invisible invisible um, and we set the timeout of zero seconds so what we do we're gonna um, change the hold one with the invisible one and of course we need to style the invisible one and we're just gonna say display is a to none right so if we start tracking um, of course we need to change dot invisible right um, if you start tracking you see the background is um, going away but if we stop tracking it's away it's gone here we need to say another second one tracks track end and we need to call the function track end so let's say track end we need to say something has to happen and we need to say this dot class list dot remove invisible again so if you end the tracking oh track end here so if you end the tracking the invisible is gone it has the class of filled again so it's like nothing happened so let's style and do some functions for the empty container so let's say for let empty um, of all the empties um, let's do something and because we're gonna say empty dot add event listener and first and first we're gonna say track over and we're gonna call the function track over here all right new function track over and it should be to get um, an event here as parameter and we're gonna just say event dot prevent default all right um yeah that's all we need to do as you can see now we got uh, look at our cursor we got the drop cursor here right now but we just can drop it by the way let's give the fields a cursor of pointer so now you can see you can track it uh, with the cursor so we need a second event listener and that's something like track enter track enter and we're gonna call the function track enter let's copy this track enter and what track enter does again it does event prevent the default and we're gonna say this dot class list dot toggle hovered all right hovered is just giving this a style if it's hovered so we're gonna say hovered and we're just gonna say for example um, background will be light green for example i don't know so now if we hover this it will be light green but as you can see the other one will still be light green as well and that's what we need to change next with track leaf so if we leave this track leaf here we go track leaf and again we're going to copy the function and we're going to say track leaf and here we don't need to um, take the event just need to say this dot class classless dot remove and uh, what we need to remove is the hovered all right so now if we leave it the queen will be gone and if we hover it the queen is coming for everyone here of course and as you can see it stays green if i drop it then it stays green um, we can't drop it because um, we don't have to clear that yet but if i drop it here it, it, it's green so we need to do one last thing and that's the drop event so we're gonna say drop and we need to declare one last function and we're gonna call our track underscore drop and it's really simple to do we just need to say this dot append built right I think we are ready we can now drop it here 
can just drop it here and we can just drop it here and here and here and here and this works really really well all right but now we have a problem what if we have just uh, more than just one container that we can drag and drop so let's put in a second one uh, here for example and now if we drop the single one that's no problem but if we drop the second one with the same class it will only change the, the first one so as you can see now it will change the first one it's not working correct so first things first we are gonna say uh, this dot class list dot remove um, the hovered right so what it does it does removing the hover effect if you change one no matter if you change the right or the wrong one all right but let's change the second one here and as you can see the first one is changing we need to clear um which is a variable and for example current element and if we start tracking we're going to say current element is equal to this and in the end we're just gonna append the current element all right what we need to do here of course we have more than just one field so we need to say query selector all and we need to do for loop as well so we're going to say for let um, field single for example field and we're going to do a for loop um, for every single one and we're just going to put in this here all right um, we need to say field single and here we need to say build single all right so if we save this right now uh, we're going to loop for every single one with the same class name and we're going to put this um, for the single one to the current element to this all right so now if i change this everything works really really well and now as you can see we have a drag and drop uh, container with just more than one trackable element let's do one more to show you what i mean and this works really really well cool right so i hope you guys liked the video please give me a thumbs up all right i hope you guys liked this video if you liked the video please give me a thumbs up that's a really simple track and drop and i hope you guys liked the video please leave a thumbs up if you liked it see you in the next video bye